video was brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato capture card today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another 2025 career mode video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Eric Dyer. Yes, Dyer is just one of the many, many up-and-coming English talents, not just English talents, but just young up-and-coming players at that Tottenham side. It's just incredible. Guys like, of course, Deli Alley, Harry Kane, and Eric Dyer. You can throw him right into the mix. They're going to have such an amazing team in a few years. I can almost guarantee it. But Eric Dyer obviously spent a little bit of his time, and maybe not even a little bit of his time, but a lot of his time overseas in Portugal. Spent a lot of time at Sporting CP, and then eventually got brought back to England by Tottenham. And so far, he's done quite well. He's got a decent overall to back that up, and he's also got a very nice potential considering his age, only 21, and of course, a potential up in the mid-80s. A 74-rated central defensive midfielder, and we're taking a look at him right now. Here are his stats. He's got decent stamina and strength. Obviously, there's some of the better physical attributes that he has. But now, looking at skill attributes, we see for that 74 overall, plenty of stats in the 70s. And again, things like shot power, very good defending, decent playmaking and passing. A lot of stats that are around that 70 rating are a bit higher. He's pretty versatile as well. Can play at centre-back and right-back if need be. So if you need that extra defender, there you go. Six foot two, he's got plenty of height about him as well. The power-headed trait, no specialities, and the potential of 84 right now in game. So let's do this then. It's actually been a bit of a while since I've done one of the young up-and-coming Tottenham players. Of course, I've done a fair few of uh, other clubs, like for example, Chelsea. But now we're going to do it with Eric Dyer. 75 overall now in the first season, going up by just one in his overall, despite the fact that I see many stats that have gone up by more than just plus one, plus two, plus three. And it's great to see the physical attributes get a little bit along as well. That uh, Things like that acceleration and the uh, agility and the balance, even though He's never going to be an absolutely rapid, messy, like agile, pacey player. But it'd definitely be nice if we could see improvements in that area. And so far we are. We got a very nice amount of technical attribute growth there as well, which is sensational. Can he go back to back though? Can he maybe go for maybe even more than plus one? We are going to get it. We're going to get plus two. But this time, it's only technical attribute growth. No physical, no mental. Again, still waiting on the mental attributes to go up or at least to be indicated. But this time, it is all technical. A plus one, a plus two, a plus three here and there for those sort of stats. And a plus two overall increase. That is sensational now at 23. And uh, yeah, we're going along quite well. I reckon taking his age, overall potential, all this into consideration, I reckon it's been pretty good so far. Can he go it again? He has done it again, another plus two overall increase. And again, it's almost a repeat of the second season where we just get technical attribute growth, no mental, no physical. But there we go. 79 overall at 24 years of age. We'll take that. That's only five away from his potential right now of 84. And the technical attributes are really starting to look very nice. We've got plenty of stats now up in the 80s. Heading accuracy, free kick accuracy even if you want to take a pop. Long passing as well. Marking, defending stats, sand tackle, slide tackle. They're all looking great. Decent shot power. It's been a very, very good start so far for Eric Dyer. Plus five in the first three seasons. But can he now go on another five to get to that 84 potential? Let's find out. So here we are, 2025 with Eric Dyer. He's got the potential to be one of the better midfielders, even the best midfielder for Tottenham in the future. But can he get there? What's his rating in 2025? 84 overall is what he finishes with. That's his potential hit, bang on, in the final season. He hasn't grown by anything this time around, so he's probably gotten actually there in the second to last season, or maybe even the third to last season, but either way, he's gotten there. He has stopped growing for a little bit at 31 years of age, obviously, but we're not gonna take that into too much consideration considering his age, and now we look at the technical attributes. Some of the best technical attributes I've seen for an 84 rated player. Ball control, free kick accuracy, long passing, defending stats, marking slide tackle, stand tackle, Short passing and long passing, heading accuracy. So many stats up in the up in the 80s and even in the 90s. It's super good to see. This dude could definitely play in the midfield. Don't get me wrong. He is a center defensive midfielder, but looking at those defending stats, he's almost better off playing at center back. He's so damn good. Up in the 90s with his defending stats, things like the marking, the slide tackle, the stand tackle. I mean, I'll leave it to... It's all up to you, depending on where you get him in your career modes. But oh my goodness me, Eric Dyer. That is a super impressive start. 84 overall, and we'll take that. 100% we're going to take that. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Masterbox. This has been another 2025 career mode video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave in the comments down below any other plays you want me to do. And until next time, don't forget, have a good one. Bye-bye.